both the sewing pattern file in PDF form as well as the cut files for your cutting machine, either DXF or SVG file options, are available at payhip.com slash dig the bag. And if you are a member of my Facebook group called Dig the Bag Sew Along, it's a private group that you can join, you can get this pattern file for free. So come on over and join us and enjoy the project. Okay, I'm bringing in my DXF file for the hearts into Silhouette Studio and you can see um, there they are. They're not the right size yet, but uh, before I do anything with them, I'm gonna now go into my files and get the DXF file for the wording, the messages that go on the hearts as well. And I'm just gonna open those in a new tab so I have both of them ready for when I do this. And here they are. Now I have the two tabs open up here and I'm going to start by resizing the two hearts for cutting. Okay, and you can see that I'm just plugging in the numbers for the width and height um, from the pattern piece instructions. And now it's the size I want. Okay. I have my scrap of vinyl faux leather on here. I have my deep cut blade in. Um, I have my uh, design up, I loaded it in and I changed the size to be what I wanted it to be. Um, coming over here to send, it's already selected on cut, so it's going to cut the red lines. And I have leatherette selected, cut, deep cut blade, um, and I just have it on one pass. And I'll do another one if I feel like it's necessary. Send. Okay, at this point I'm just going to set this piece aside and move over to getting my heat transfer vinyl cut out for the lettering to be added. I have my HCV on the mat, shiny side down, um, and we're going to cut the words out now. So first things first for the HTV, I'm going to take out the deep cut blade and just stick in my auto blade. Eventually, there we go. Okay. Um, so now going back over, I had loaded in the Valentine's Day key ring um, word. Okay, I got interrupted, but um, picking up where we left off, I chose the words Happy Valentine's Day. I brought this this file in to a different um, a different project in Silhouette, and I chose the words Happy Valentine's Day. I grouped them together, so I, I selected all of them. I did object group, they're grouped. Now I'm copying them. And what I'm gonna do is bring them over to my other project, my uh, the two hearts that I just cut out, and I'm gonna um, paste them in there. And I'm going to decide on the size that I want based on, based on those hearts. So I'm just moving it down a little bit. Um, I want it a little bit smaller than that because I don't want it to run into my stitching. So maybe, maybe like that. That looks good, right? There you go. So I think I, that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to now, um, just move these hearts out of the way because we're not going to be cutting those again. And I'm ready to bring this up and just cut it out of my HTV. Um, so what I'm just going to do, and you could do this in a different um, project, in a different tab if you want. I'm just going to go over and um, just make the hearts red. And then I'm going to go over to send and cut by line style and I'm going to just choose black so that it only cuts out the the words there. I'm going to load it now. So I've loaded it 
into my silhouette. I have my auto blade in, I have the HTV shiny side down, and I have my the words that I want to cut out here. I'm going to change my material to heat transfer vinyl. It's just heat transfer, smooth, auto blade, everything's set. Oh, and we don't want to forget, and it'll ask you at the end, but I usually just object, mirror, flip horizontally, and then go ahead and hit send. Here we go. Okay, so I cut, I um, shined a light on the back of this to see where the letters cut out. And I basically, then I just cut a, around it to have a smaller piece to weed from. Um, I had to mess around with the settings on my silhouette quite a bit to make this work to where the letters will actually not stick and come up with the rest of the vinyl. But hopefully this is the one, hopefully this is, this one will work. So what we're gonna do is we're going to peel away the vinyl from the plastic backing and hopefully the letters will stay on the plastic backing and the vinyl, the excess vinyl will come off. We shall see, I'm gonna do it on a flat surface here and I'm gonna do it slowly. And then you have your words, which look like that. Okay, oops, there's a piece of vinyl I didn't get off there. Okay, so now I'm going to take a break from weeding vinyl and sew this thing. Fold your little heart in half, like so. And if you need to, use some clips to hold it together, some wonder clips. Um, I actually want to sew it on this side so that the, no, I want to sew it like this. I like the top stitching, top of the stitching to be on the, to be where the, the key ring will be on the left hand side for some reason. Okay. So now I've got it clipped together. And I'm just going to start sewing around and sew around the heart. It's so little, I don't know if you can see it from all the way up there. There we go. I don't need these clips. Doing about an eighth of an inch. Make sure they're nice and even, the back and front. I feel like my there we go. Not that anymore. Okay. 
Okay. Um, what happened to my other scissors? Okay. Uh, trimming my threads. All right, so then you have your heart. And we're going to take our our words now before we put the the key ring on and we're going to apply the words where we want them and we're going to take them to the iron the instructions on the heat transfer vinyl i don't think this is centered enough let's see and over what do you think Okay, so the instructions on the heat transfer vinyl say, um, actually, like, to set your iron somewhere between, quote, cotton and fabric. That's the, the instructions that I got. So I, because we're actually putting this on vinyl um, that will easily melt under high heat, I'm going to start slow. This is a Teflon sheet. I'm going to start slow and do um, short presses. on a lower heat, just making sure. Now I'm gonna have to see already, it's kind of getting stuck to the Teflon. So there you have it. And I'm gonna do one more. Not very high, not very long. All right, and now I'm gonna let it cool. Let it cool, let it cool. Can actually see I probably did it a little too long okay and now we're gonna try to peel that plastic off and hopefully the letters will stay all right hold on let me go get a ring you could probably figure this part out on your own but this is um, what it comes out looking like. And then I'm going to use my key ring, my split key ring, and just slip it in. I mean, you could put this on first before you even sew it, but. Hmm. There we go. Slip my key ring on. Just like that. And there you have it. Happy Valentine's Day.